All right, well, everything, it's more expensive these days, right? But for less than the cost of a half tank of gas, you can get a delicious bottle of wine. So there you go, problem solved. There are several refreshing and affordable wines you can pair with your favorite summer foods, especially if you're planning to celebrate the 4th of July. Joining us live now from New York is Samolye and Martha Stewart, wine <laughs> writer Sarah Tracy. Good morning to you, Sarah. Good morning. Are you so excited for this holiday weekend? Oh, so excited, especially now that I know how to say Samal yay correctly. <laughs> I'm yay excited. Perfect. Yeah, Sarah, summer makes us think of barbecues, poolside parties, of course. And so what do you suggest when it's hot and you're grilling out? Oh, especially if you're the one manning the grill, like I usually am. A Sauvignon Blanc is bright, it's crisp, it's citrusy, refreshing. And I have a fabulous one from Chateau St. Michel, which is Washington State's founding winery. And this is only $11. It's so refreshing. It pairs perfectly with grilled chicken, grilled seafood, like veggies, veggie tacos and stuff like that. Really, really great way to kick off your July 4th barbecue bash. That sounds amazing. Tell us about wine cocktails. I feel like these are becoming more popular for summertime too. Oh, and it just, you know, up levels what you're doing as a host. If you can make a fun cocktail with some wine. Um, rosé, of course, is what we think of when we think of summertime wine. So I have this liquid light rosé, which is $16. It is also um, less than 100 calories a glass, so you can have, you know, a little extra indulgence and still enjoy your wine. But I made a fun twist. I did a watermelon mint smash Ooh. with this. So just muddle some watermelon and mint and some fresh lime, pour in a little bit of rosé, top with some seltzer, and it's so refreshing. And you can make a whole big picture of it if you want for all of your guests. Super easy. I would have never thought to put watermelon and mint together. That sounds mm -hmm. delicious. Just so refreshing. Oh my. Okay, so as we know, gla glass can be a problem around the pool, but you've got a solution for us, right? We have a wine in a can. If you have not jumped on the canned wine trend yet, consider this your go ahead to give it a shot. This is the 14 Hands Winery Hot to Trot Red Blend in a can. This is a $5.99 for the can, but believe it or not, there is half a bottle of wine in here. Oh. Uh, and so great for times when you're by the pool or maybe camping and you can't have glass with you. Um, and this is an excellent pairing for s'mores. I tried it myself. I can report from an expert. <laughs> Wine and s'mores definitely do the 14 hands hot to try. Oh, that's great. A lot of our local <laughs> wineries too have the cans now, which is just wonderful. Now we've got some more time here. You have one more to show us with some tropical notes, right? Yes, so this is the intrinsic Sauvignon Blanc, so another Savvy B, uh, but I just love the art on the label. It is an awesome host gift. So if you are planning on going to someone else's barbecue and you want to bring something that's kind of special and memorable, this one's fabulous, $20. You can look splurge a little bit, you know, when you're giving it as a gift. And again, yes, bright tropical notes, lots of like mango and pineapple notes here and really delicious and refreshing and fun. These are some wonderful ideas, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And by the way, the kitchen that you're in is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. It's great to join you from um, the great state of New York. And I hope everyone has a safe and happy fourth and drink some great wine. You as well. Wonderful. And Sarah's got some other fun ideas involving wine. We'll connect you to her blog at fox59.com slash links.